Hello everyone, my name is Ezaz Patel and you are watching Ezaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 25 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial, we will successfully see that how can we add the fakes, frequently asked questions. So in this tutorial, we are going to working on how can we display that fakes from here. So come back and to the fakes page and here uh, simply what we are going to do here just uh, create one function from here with the name function view fix okay so first of all I am going to include the connection file from here double quote inc slash db dot php okay now what we are going to do here just simply copy this one from here this detail back from here by control c paste that one from here by control v and we need to echo that one echo double quotes comma here now let's do it single code of all double quotes single codes single code single code remove all the double quotes with the single codes this one is also We made some changes from here okay so stay tuned with me okay so now what we are going to do here we just simply directly get all the fix first from the fake table fix equal to dollar con repair statement inside that prepare statement we are going to fire the query but like select star from fix okay now get fix set fetch mode our set fetch mode is pdo fetch asoc okay then after get fix we need to execute that uh, get fix now here we are going to create a one while loop just because we need to all the records from there so for that reason we are going to use a while loop if we need a one record then we doesn't need to running while loop but we need to multiple record for that reason we are going to use here while loop fetch okay and echo this one from here control exit paste that one from here okay now we have to uh, we fired a query so for that reason here we need a question just like here how can I pay so how can we do that so simply double quotes dot dot dollar row and here we set the uh, qsn okay let's try to refresh and check what we have here okay so we have to display that fake view from under the fake table question mark php paste it and echo that one from here 
so refresh that one so just look at your fatal error 503 so let's check 503 so let's start from on pre yeah prepare st uh, statement spelling is mistake refresh that one so just look at here we have all the fakes are here if we need to add the fakes from here so let's also try to one br from here so br take close here let's refresh it so let's look at here now we have all the question are here okay the same way we need something from here let's uh, br all from here so we can get the direct exit output yeah just look at here add new fix so let's try to also decrease the size of that uh, add fix we just set the style width equal to 20% let's refresh it and check it so let's look at this now add fix is perfectly coming and these two are also is perfectly coming okay so in the same way we are going to display that one from here with the value okay no, 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 not from here inside that function tag okay so value value equal to single quotes double quotes dot dot dollar q s n okay okay no 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 not, not like that dollar row q s n dollar row and we move this one from here and the same way we need to set the value from inside our text area the text area doesn't accept any value so for that reason we are putting that inside this text area here okay and here asn now let's refresh and check it what we have here asn 551 uh, 511 asn so what we have here ans ans yes 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 refresh that one so just look at here now we have the value of that one so we need to check it with the up underscore okay and here also up underscore and also we will change it here with the up fix okay so now after the while loop we are going to create one if condition so simply we are coming again from here and copy this if condition from here copy that one paste that one from here but now we doesn't need this one from here okay also doesn't need this else condition from here remove this one okay now all are set so we need to get it one tab here is we need to change it up fix okay then 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 up qsn then up ans okay and also we need to here give one hidden input field with the value id we need this id just because this is the while loop so we need to update only particular question when someone click on this one so how can we do that so simply we need this id from here inside input type equal to hidden and its name equal to id and its value equal to single quotes double quotes dot dot dollar row 
and say q i d which means question id which is coming from here from here q id okay so also we are going to target that one so we said id equal to dollar underscore post and then here we said the um, id yeah just because this uh, name is id so we are going to target that one from here so now we see up up fake here also we need to change it with the up fake fake up the updated successfully also here fake not updated successfully okay here we doesn't need this uh, this query from here just because we are firing here update query update fix set q s n equal to dollar q s n which is coming from here okay as the same way we are going to add a s a n s equal to dollar a n s which is coming from there and now we are going to create a one condition here where q id equal to that id which is coming from id variable okay so it will be update only that one which is coming from here okay so where q id equal to this id so i think guys this uh, our query is running now so let's going to check the query how can i pay change the text text value from here update update fix refresh it so just look at this now when i click on this update so just look at here fix updated successfully it's only update this one not this one so why it is updating only one just because we set the condition here where q id equal to that id which is coming from here okay if i set it here fix updated successfully if i change something from here email address and also anything i'm going to update this one so just look at here these updates are appear here I'm going to again update this one. So just look at this now. Now I'm going to create try to update this one. I'm removing question mark and update it. So just look at this now. The question mark is removed now. When I again add that question mark, so update it. So just look at here. Question mark is appear from here. So guys, I think this is enough for today. Next tutorial, we are going to working on this about us page. On this page, about us page. Okay. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. See you in next tutorial. If you guys are like my videos, then like and share my videos. And if you have any question in your mind, then comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you in next tutorial. Stay connected with me. Stay tuned. Goodbye.